one of my uh, bucket list things to do when uh, one day maybe is I want to uh, run in these back roads like this I'd like to make a trip one time in a like an old classic car not a hot rod but just an old classic car nothing fancy it just uh, take a trip cross country coast to coast and try to stay off the uh, the interstates hey, good morning we're in Mullen Mullinsville Mullinville Kansas at a uh, little mom and pop truck stop we got about two hours over to uh, Wichita Kansas we uh, we knocked out 621 miles yesterday all back roads up highway 54 so that wasn't too bad considering um, we're gonna go about an hour down the road and stop and get some fuel and then make our way over to Wichita I'm just gonna fill up one tank once we get done in Wichita we're gonna make our way down to um, uh, take the next right on 10th Avenue then turn right onto US 54 East down to Oklahoma pick up our, uh, our load we don't load till tomorrow it's a little bit of a bounce but Katie said it was worth it. Hang on one second, I gotta fix something back there. Something back there rattling. Drives me nuts. Going down the road here, something rattling. So we're gonna pick up a load tomorrow out of Pryor, Pryor, Oklahoma, and then uh, take that over to Indianapolis for Monday. Take the next right onto US 54 East. And that'll put us back where uh, we want to be, and see if we can get back into the groove of things. But now we ran, uh, we been ran the back roads all the way up from. Um, yelling about. We ran the back roads all the way up from uh, Las Cruces, Highway 70 to Highway 54, and then 54 all the way up to Tucumcari, and then Tucumcari stayed on 54. But uh, I do enjoy running the back roads. The scenery is a lot different. I wish I had the ability just to stop where I wanted to to uh, take a look at things, but just can't pull the big truck over anywhere, park and look, so anyway. All right, uh, we got about an hour, we're gonna get some fuel, and then over to Wichita. get done over here in Wichita we're gonna run through the woods over to get to uh, uh, Pryor, 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 Oklahoma. Yeah we're in Cunningham, Cunningham, Kansas. There's the sign right there. 
so once we get done we're gonna run through the woods we don't load till tomorrow so uh, we're gonna try to make it over to Big Cabin Oklahoma we got a choice we can either stay in Tulsa or we stay somewhere else truck stops in Tulsa are uh, a pain in the butt parking in Tulsa is limited there's a flying J up there but uh, that parking around that flying J is a mess so we might just go the long way run through the woods and uh, spend the night up at Big Cabin and that'll put us about 30 miles away there's a big truck stop up there Big Cabin Oklahoma there we go. so warmed up a little bit it's 37 all right let me get some fuel we'll talk to you all right we got our fuel I didn't buy much I got 60 gallons just enough to uh, keep us running around well after we get loaded but we've got about an hour to go from here to go get unloaded now I've never stopped at this little little tiny loves my uh, bucket list things to do when uh, one day maybe is I want to uh, run in these back roads like this I'd like to make a trip one time in a like an old classic car not a hot rod but just an old classic car nothing fancy it just uh, take a trip cross country coast to coast and try to stay off the uh, the interstates and just run the back roads and not have any time schedule or anything and just stop and take a look at stuff I see so much stuff that are pretty cool I'd like to get a picture of or something like that but just can't uh, whip this truck up off to the side of the road But anyway, that's one of my, my bucket list things to do. Some of these little towns are really nice. I don't know what kind of car I'd get. I just want like a family truckster, a family cruiser. Nothing too fancy. Alright, we got about 100 miles over to Wichita, Kansas. We'll get our airplane parts unloaded. And then from there, we got about 180 miles. I was just looking it up on the map before we left. 180 miles from Wichita down to Big Cabin. Where we're going to spend the night. And then from Big Cabin to where we got to load, about 30 miles. And then we got all weekend to get over to Indianapolis, which is about 600 miles from Briar, uh, Oklahoma. Best plan. Alright, let's make our way to Wichita. Try this way. 
I get through the gate though, I gotta turn the camera off. Oh, truck shoes right in the lane. big rail cars right there that's what they put parts of the airplanes in so the worst case is, is I'll pull up here and they'll tell me to go park somewhere else that would be the worst case scenario Operation. Na, 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 na. All right. Okay, let me go get checked in. Figure this out. Talk to you in a bit. All right, it's the end of the day. We are sitting in. Big Cabin, Oklahoma, at the brand new Love's Truck Stop. I ain't never been here before. Um, see, hang on, there it goes. We're parked way in the back. The, the truck stop is actually way over there. We're parked way in the back. They got a big parking lot. There's the sign, that's the shop right there. We're parked way in the back. And there used to be a truck stop, or there is a truck stop over across the road over there. That's usually where I stay at. And then the toll road's right out there. But anyway, today's over with. It went pretty good unloading. Um, uh, the guys helped me fold up the tarps and anytime anybody helps me fold up the tarps, that's a good day. We got a load tomorrow, picking up plastic pipe, taking it to Indianapolis. Uh, we, got, we got 24 miles from right here to where we gotta go get loaded, so. Uh, we don't have very far to go. And then uh, we got about 600 and something miles over to Indianapolis for Monday. So we got plenty of time this weekend. Uh, we do not have a reload at Indianapolis yet. I have my name on a load. I had a good name on a good load, but uh, they canceled. So we'll see what else we can find. That's it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired dealing with Callie. Callie's doing okay. I talked to Teresa this morning. Callie's doing fine. She's getting back into the routine at home. But uh, after dealing with everything with Callie and everything else, I uh, might enjoy a little break this weekend. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go get a shower, call it quits, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.